very clean. I like this nice thick leather you see here, the text block right up here, these two ribbon markers from Cambridge that's a part of this edition. Hey guys, Joe here, back to the word today with an unboxing and review of an amazing Bible from Scriptura. I'm gonna open this box with you guys, review it and share all about it with you. Just a reminder, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for content like this. This video is going to be divided into three segments. I'm going to share a little bit about the company, who Scriptura is, and what they're doing with Bibles, and why it's important, and why you may want to buy a new Bible from them, or get them to rebind and restore an old Bible you have. Then I'm going to cover unboxing this thing and looking at the Bible that I got from them. And then third, I'm going to review this specific version and you give you my thoughts on it for all of you. So let's go ahead and hop into that right now. First up, Scriptura as a company. They have this nice uh, kind of starter guide um, catalog that kind of shares about it that you're going to get with this edition. It talks in contents. You can go on their website and find out more, but just know about their company. It's an amazing story. And so basically they started out as Paul's leather company. They've been doing Bibles for about 20 or so years and they wanted to shift their name to something that reflected their interest, not Paul's leather that focused on leather, but Scriptura from Sola Scriptura. They were about scripture. They are about timeless um, preservation of God's word for God's people, giving you a Bible that you can use for generations. And actually they give a section of their proceeds and the profits to getting Bible translations to those who don't have any translation in their language. So anything you buy from them, a portion of that proceed is going to support getting God's word into the hands of people who do not have it currently. Just really stand behind that. They're about treasuring your Bible and transform your world from them. Going through the website, you can see that they have many translations for people to choose from. I was really impressed by what they do. They also allow you to personalize it. Something that unique, I think, about Scripture is because of the way they do the leather, which they have four different color choices, is, and the customization is they can move pretty quickly through restoring something and getting something to you. If you get a custom rebind by some of the guys out there, yes, they do amazing work. Yes, it's custom towards you, but you might wait a long time and pay a lot for it. Their prices are reasonable. They do a great job. The leather is high quality that you're going to see later in this video. And they even have a time thing on their website where they show that it's about 30 day wait or 60 day wait or whatever for your Bible to get rebound, redone, and refreshed. They also have designs. You can do custom designs, many designs. You can send them almost anything they can print on a Bible. They also have Scriptura type which is really cool they have these bible verses that have been done by their company and you can choose from any of those designs to add to your bible they have people who have reviewed restoring the bible and then they also talk about their lifetime coverage you can get scriptura care they call it forever care in this pamphlet and when you buy your Bible, you can add that for a certain amount. I think it's like $79 or so. And it protects against a variety of things, against scratching or something that happens that's, that affects the leather, also the binding. And there's guarantees on some of the, those things from them. Amazing company. I had a great online experience with them. Really think they do things well and want to recommend you go check out their website and more of the things that they do that I can't fit into this video. All right, now it's time to switch to the unboxing. So this is what it looks like when it comes. I just opened the box from FedEx, and then you have this really nice Scriptura box that this Bible is going to come in. Their focus on getting the gospel to the world. You see this, this um, picture of the global map there, transform your world there on the outside of the box. And then what you're going to do is you're going to open it. So they're different size boxes. And then we see right in there is the catalog that I just showed you earlier in the video. I put it back in here so you could see where it would be right on top of the Bible. 
And then right here is the Bible I got from them, the ESV Clarion Reference Edition from Cambridge is the text block on the inside. And then you see this leather on the outside from them. It's the lighter brown, but not the lightest brown that they have. Very nice right there. Pull it out of the box. You see the spine, just this unique. There's the Scriptura logo here. Very clean. I like this nice thick leather. You see here the text block right up here. These two ribbon markers from Cambridge that's a part of this edition. Just looking at this Bible right there. Really nice. You open here, you have the, the end sheet. And then you have this, where it's the block that's tabbed in and glued. And then you have this original end sheet from Cambridge. So they've reinforced that. This is going to hold up for a long time. And then you get into the Cambridge uh, ESV Clarion text block. So very nice Bible right here. Uh, just showcasing a little bit more. So you have the, the single column ESV Clarion layout. It's about a little bit smaller than a nine point text size. I got this Bible. Um, it's a personal size, single column, black letter edition. So I just really enjoy that. I just have been really enjoying this Bible and really excited to use it more. You see, just look at how nice that poetic setting is. The Psalms, the po like Proverbs. I really like this setting with this Bible. It's just so nice, the line length. You get into some of these other books of the Bible, Prophecy, Isaiah, Jeremiah. It's just wow, just look at this, the profile. It just lays flat right out of the box. Obviously, as you continue to use this, it's gonna break in more. Um, just enjoy that right there. I will say about the ribbon markers, um, people online always like really bash Crossways ribbon markers. I know this is a Cambridge Bible, but these these um, ribbons are really nice. Like they feel like double satin ribbons. They are really nice ribbons. They are thin ribbons. So some people really like long ribbons. Some people really like thick ribbons. But especially in a personal size Bible and even some of Crossways Bibles, like some of their heirloom ones, I feel like people just don't talk about enough online that they do thin ribbons because you're supposed to be able to put it in the gutter and still have room to read the text. Sometimes people are bashing online and saying, hey, you need a thick ribbon or a long ribbon in there. And I'm like, the reason that it's thin is for purpose. So you can read the text even with it on the in the page like yes it's a preference do i wish there were four ribbons yes four ribbons is my personal favorite number but still right out of the box from scriptura as they've done it from cambridge a good treatment here something that's really really nice flat right out of the box obviously as you break it in it's going to do more you get to the end uh cambridge has their their concordance that they've done here at the back, different abbreviations, weights and tables and measurements. And then also you get to the very end and you have the Cambridge Bibles maps. So they have 15 maps. They have a short map index here. And then they have color maps at the back right there, as you can see. Really excited to use this Bible and then multiple pages at the back, ISBN number. The original lining there where the block would have been tabbed, the edge lined block. And then this one right here, the sheet, is put in there from Scriptura. Nice Bible right there. You see some of the edges here. I've actually been using this Bible for about a week. So I'm doing this unboxing for you now so you can see what it would have looked like when I opened it. But you see some of these marks that I've had to just personalize the Bible. This is not... One of those um, leathers, and I think for most of what they have at Scriptura, that you're going to want to get if you don't want certain marks on it. There's certain marks that you see here, and there's a couple things on the back, but it adds personality to the Bible. This is a nice piece of leather, and I'll talk more about it in my review, which is up next. Third part of the video, time for the review. I've had about a week with this ESV Clarion reference edition from Cambridge. 
and then bound by Scriptura with this nice piece of leather on the outside. I think it's the C1335 or something like that. Um, it's their lighter brown, but not the lightest brown that they have. They have four version or four different colors of leather that are based off different years of Bible history. So you can go check those out. They have a black, they have a very dark brown. This is more the medium brown. And then also the uh, lightest brown, kind of golden brown that they have, goldenrod. So let's get into this Bible. There's a lot that I could say about it. I've had about a week using it. It's a personal size reference edition. I love how it feels in the hand. I wanted this Bible from Scriptura personally. I know David Platt um, preaches from an ESV Clarion Bible most of the time when he's not using his iPad. I know one of my professors at seminary, Dr. Scott Pace, has an ESV Clarion that he uses. And so I wanted to get this edition, use it, carry it with me. I even used it for teaching a class in the last week, and I really have enjoyed it. So let's hop into the actual review and my thoughts. I'm going to pop up pictures of different things of this Bible to show you different features as I'm walking through this notes these notes that I've put on my computer. First, I wanna say this Bible has a rugged look and I love it. One of the things is important about when you rebind or get a Bible that's personal or an heirloom Bible is it has to look really good. You have to be excited and invited to pick it up. You see it sitting on the desk and you just want to read it. That's something beautiful about a leather Bible. It makes it personal and exciting. And I just know that I've walked by this multiple times in the last week and I just wanted to pick it up because it looked so nice. Also, I thought the thick leather is a good touch. I enjoy that it's um, nothing to unglue or unravel. Depending on where you get things done, there's stitching that can be done. You know, they fold it over on the end sheet. And I think the way that um, Scriptura is doing their leather, it leaves it unfinished look, but you also don't have to worry about something coming unglued or unstitched if it's not done correctly. I know I've had some True Tones that have done that in the past. I know I've had other Bibles that have done that in the past that were just folded over and glued and weren't done the best. And so you're not going to have that issue with this leather. It's thick, it's rugged, it's going to hold up. Uh, they also, I would say, the end sheet, the new liner that Scriptura does. I'm putting up a picture right now. They did a great job with this. I really love that they take the text block out of the original Bible, and then they don't try to actually get that in a new one. They put a new end sheet. And it's kind of a liner would be before, but it's kind of in sheet and then tabbed into the edge lined block. And I'm excited for the way they do that. I think it's going to hold up for a long time that way. And I was pleasantly surprised to see they did a good job with that. Moving into the corners. I thought the corners were really well done. As you look at those, I just think it's cut really well, and I'm glad for that extra layer of expertise there. If you're a Bible snob, you will know corners are important, how it lays flat, it draws your attention in the Bible's profile, and so I was really excited to see how well the corners were done, cut. I also talked about the enforced edge lining. That's something that I really did enjoy that they they did there. You see where they glued those different sheets together. I'm showing a picture right now. And I'm thankful that they did that to just give it that extra um, integrity and it's going to hold up for a long time. Yes, it might not lay as flat as you want right out of the box, but as that breaks in, it's going to hold up so much longer as a Bible for a lifetime. And then finally, I was going to talk a little bit about this. One thing that I was surprised by, and I think it just might be my addition, is there was a spine enforcer on this part. So sometimes they do a spine enforcer that's inside this, between this and the text block, and it's kind of to help you help it from bending, and it kind of is supposed to enforce the spine. And so mine, actually, if you can see it there, is kind of loose in there. And so maybe you can comment on this video if you know, is that supposed to be glued to the text block? Maybe they missed that in production of this. Is it supposed to be free? Maybe it's just supposed to be free to add some extra help towards the spine. I wasn't completely sure. I initially thought I might glue it myself, but then I've just kind of left it that way and see what it does anyway. But that's just one question. That's the only really um, manufacturing question I had with this Bible 
and it was just so good, so good. Now I'm gonna switch over to the ESV Clarion um, reference kind of thoughts and review. That's the Scriptura part. So any Bible you get from them is gonna have very similar binding, very similar leather things to that I just reviewed. So if you have a Bible that you want to get rebound and redone with them, or if you're gonna pick one of their new ones, they have excellent choices online. That's what you're going to get. But for those who want the ESV Clarion reference review from me, here you go. What about this personal edition, this, this special edition that I got? And what do I think about this ESV Clarion? First, this is a personal size Bible. The goal of a personal size Bible is portability. It's not the fact that it's got to be the biggest type, the most readable, have the most wide margin. It's supposed to be a Bible that easily can fit in your book bag, that you can easily carry with you, that is light and easy to carry and can be kept with you for a long time and will not wear you out keeping it around, but it's not gonna provide tons of extra room or tons of extra study sources. That being said, it does include references. I really have struggled to get away from a Bible that does not have references. So I'm glad that this has the ESV reference suite in it. And you can see some of the other editions on Scriptura and Cambridge's site for what they do for references. I would say the two black ribbon markers are really nice. If you saw earlier in this video, there's a reason I believe they're nice, but they're also thin. And so you can check that out earlier in this video. Uh, if you get higher up, I believe this Clarion Reference Edition in certain goatskin leather options um, has two red ribbons, but obviously for Scriptura, they've kept them black, and I'm glad they did. I think that was a good choice on their part. It goes well with the leather and fits well with the Bible. The text is just under nine-point font, so it's pretty readable for me. It's on premium Bible paper. I'm not sure of the GSM value. I would say just it's right around the 30, 32, maybe even a little thinner, maybe down to 28 or so, but it's a nice paper. It might wrinkle just a little bit in the humidity depending on when it changes, but as you use the Bible, it will get easier. Some people who switch to premium Bibles have trouble finding because you just don't know how far now that you've switched to premium Bible paper, but you'll get used to it over time as you use a premium Bible. You'll figure that out. It's amazing paper. It would hold up to marking. It's line matched through so you don't have that ghosting see-through problem. And the text is very readable. I would say for me personally, the line length is the words on a line is just a little bit longer than what I desire or use typically in my Bible. But for what I got this Bible for as a personal carry, something that I can keep around, it's not something I'm going to mark in, it's something that I can just grab and take with me. Excellent Bible for that. And so the line length is not a huge issue for me in that regard. But for those of you who know what you like, that might be one detractor. It's just a little bit longer, so sometimes you stand a better chance of missing the next line down as you're reading. I also really enjoy the fact that it comes with a concordance at the end. That's super helpful. Obviously, it adds bulk. It adds some width to the Bible. But for those of us who might be thinking about a verse, maybe you have enough Bible study to know, well, this verse says this and it has this key word. Most key words, most key verses are going to have a few of those references in the back in the concordance. So that can be super helpful when you're studying. Also, when you're in a sermon and a pastor says something that triggers your memory, or even in a class that can help you find relevant scripture passages. I also would say the Cambridge maps are new for me. This is the first Bible I've ever gotten from Cambridge, and I know that they do a good job, and people have put lots of info out about their wide margins and other Bible formats from them. But I this is the first time I saw the Cambridge maps, and I was really impressed. They have 15 colored maps. They have a map index that talks about key places in the Bible so you can see something in scripture that you're reading, then go to that maps index and then find out which map it's on and where to look on that map. Super helpful in that case. Thank you Cambridge for that and it's done in color. It's also done in a little heavier paper than the Bible paper. So with that, if you have questions about Scriptura, if you have questions about this Bible, I would love to hear about them in the comments section. 
I am enjoying this Bible. I know I'm going to use it for months, years to come, and I'm excited for it to pop up every now and then on my Instagram channel and maybe even YouTube for you guys. If you have questions and you'd like to know more about Scriptura, obviously I've put the link to their website in the description of this video. I've also done a review of this Bible on my blog. And so if you'd like to hop over to my blog and see some of my written thoughts about this Bible and why you might consider it further, go ahead and do that. Always like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to know what's coming up. Until next time, I just want to continue to encourage you to be in God's Word daily. Wonder in it, wonder at it, rejoice over it. And until next time, continue to read, treasure, and follow the Word. And I'll see you guys soon.